This anger business is going to get the best of you if you aren't careful. If you can't control your rage, there's going to be some serious consequences. Rage? Me? Why, Doctor, I'm surprised at you. You know I'm the picture of calmness and serenity. Now that's a step in the right direction. Here's your bill. See what I mean? Today. Sleep, 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 more sleep. The Healing Games! I've got to relax. Oh. Maybe I'll just take a nap. That'll help me unwind. for the Healand Games. Ugh, you're no Scotsman. You're just a woodpecker. Ugh, are you daft in the head, woman? Can't you see me red mane? I'm a woodpecker by birth, but I'm a muckpecker by the grace of God. Well, Healand Games or no Healand Games, I have a condition! This is a rooming house, and you know the rules. You have to be quiet. You are aggravating my condition. And you see, I'm trying to relax! I'll take it outside, lass. Hoot! Tis a bunny Scottish morn. How am I supposed to practice in all this mucky muck? I'll have to practice indoors. <laughs> I've got to practice for the wild card event, wrestling with the Loch Ness Monster. What am I going to use for Nessie? Looking mighty fierce this season, Nessie. But you're no match for a MacPecker. Perhaps a nice cup of tea will soothe my nerves. Huh? What are you doing up there that's taking up all my water pressure? Woohoo! I've got you now, Nessie. in a towel, it'll only make a wee bit of noise. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone. Who's going to notice one pass? my patience. I'm not going to tell you again to be quiet. You are aggravating my condition! Oh, dear. My condition. I have to call the doctor! Now, just calm down. I can't take this anymore! 
When you feel yourself getting aggravated, just count to ten. Oh, to ten! I left me caber back in me gym locker. I'm a disgrace to me clan. What am I to do now? There's a gift from the gods! Now, counting is very relaxing, Nini. Go ahead, try it. Okay, here goes. One, <laughs> two, three! Ah, what have I done? I'll be kicked out of the clan for sure. Ugh. What a mess we got here. She's wired up all wrong. I'll just use a little McPacker know-how. We'll just wear the childhood memories into the anger. By the grip in my ear, that ought to do her. Tis a great sight indeed. Good as new. <laughs> that crazy McPacker is at it again. This time I'll show no mercy. This time I'll... <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. Happy, good ship 20 years ago. Well, sir, we just made a big haul of bluefin tuna. Now, polar bears like fish, so do little penguins. Oh! 
Rock of a baby and three top, but I'm in both cradle of rock, but above eight cradle of fall, don't go baby cradle of all. for lessons. No, no, I'm here to tell you that you've been inducted into the <laughs> Flying Hall of Fame. At long last, my boyhood dream comes true. So long, propeller head. In no time at all, I'll have Winnie begging to buy her big screen TV back. But of course, you knew that, didn't you? <laughs> Wings, Bander, Hausen, Hosen, Flausen has moved. Just follow the arrows to new location. Oh, my. Ew. Wings, Wings, Bander, Hausen, Hosen, Flausen. 
thousand? I'm all that. Oh, my. I am wings. Bander, hausen, hausen, flausen. Ace, flying ace. Battle crush, you knew that, didn't you? I want to learn to fly. Oh, you want to fly. Isn't that modern of you? <laughs> Here is a plane for you. <laughs> hey, you'll see, I'm a very quick study. Well then, quickly a study my instructional home video. It's best viewed on, say, a large screen TV. Uh, I'm more of a hands-on kind of girl. Come on! What's this do, Wings? Oh, it is to test uh, G-forces. <laughs> More G's? Uh, <laughs> More G's? Uh, no, Pat. I like to solve the puzzle. I'll have Winnie begging to go home and watch TV in no time. <laughs> All right, mi amor. Now that you have survived the G-forces, let's see how you handle the parachute. Why don't you just go home and watch some TV? <laughs> Flying ace, huh? <laughs> More like flying disgrace. All right, Woody. I'm going to call you a bluff. I'm going to make you earn your wings or fly trial. I'm ready for my first flight, Mr. Vanderhausen, Hosen, Flausen. Uh, is this the right button? watching TV, Woody. Winnie, you still have the money. Let's go buy your big screen TV back now, please. No way, Woody. We're using it next Saturday for shark cage diving. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Seas. See the world. Free grub? Oh boy, that's for me. Mm -mm. So, we're 
is on the ground. Waits for me. You got the wrong sailor. <laughs> Ooh, a costume sea party. Cha-cha-cha. Now that's something I could get into. Roll call! The food line. Okie. Yeah. Corky. Hello. Thompson. Thompson. <laughs> Thompson. Oh, Thompson. Thompson! <laughs> Someone Captain Redwood calls your name, Thompson? Hold on, I'm not Thompson. What do you mean you're not Thompson? Picked you up at the dock like you wanted. Ah, oh, this is getting boring. I'm here for the free food. If you're not Thompson, what be your name then? Arr. It be Woody. Arr. Arr, me hearty. That's a fine sailing name. Uh, but where's your sea leg? S sea leg? I sea leg. Every real pirate's got a sea leg. Don't we, mateys? I can't. I've got two good ones that both left, unfortunately. He's not a pirate, Captain. <coughs> no, sir. He's one of those, um, land creatures. Hey, I'm no landlubber. Captain, he took your sword. Get my sword! Give me a back and sword! He be the infamous pirate, Woody Muckpacker, scourge of the seven seas. Arr. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Boys? We got us a stowaway, and you know what that means. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Actually, no. No, no not as know. such, no. What happens when you do something wrong? <laughs> we get punished? Exactly! So we should... Um, punish him! Punish him! Hmm, can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Oh, boy! Let's tar and feather him! But I've already got feathers. No. Ah, and we don't have no tar. Take him to the rack! Yay! Tie him to the rack! Oh, shoot, guys. I'm too short to tie to the rack. I'll just go home now. Not so fast there, lad lover. Hmm. I mean, arr. The plank! We'll have him walk the plank! The plank! The plank! The plank! All righty. Now walk. Some vacation this is. And no food. to you guys. How? Well, I'm a woodpecker. A woodpecker? What's a woodpecker? I don't know. No, oh, we don't need no stick at woodpecker. <laughs> Look. Ooh, pretty. Uh, can you do a skull and crossbones? Ah, ah, there ain't nothing like a pint of ale. Oh, uh, that's uh, ginger ale, kiddies. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Captain? Well, um, have we raided other ships? Yeah. Um, plundered? Oh, yes. Have we sang that Yo-Ho-Ho -ho song? I believe so, sir. Oh, then I guess there's nothing left. We've done all a pirate could do. No more adventure. What about a mutiny? Oh, what's that? A mutiny is like a big party, and you get to take over the ship. Oh, boy. How about we have a mutiny party? 
Smorgasbord. That's for me. No, Ollie, don't! It's all a cruel trick! The pirates! In the ships! With the rack! In the plank! Tar and feathered! I finally... They were ghosts, man! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Ghost pirates. <laughs> Crazy woodpecker. <laughs> no! Wait! Oh no, not again. Oh boy, business stinks. <sighs> Winnie Salon is killing my wig shop, Con. I gotta get me some hard customers. Oh, a day of beauty. Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Leroy, and I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me! Please, Winnie! You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. I'll give them a shampoo that'll make them wig out for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> like I'm gonna be. in the mirror. Can I have a look too? What's happened? She made 
me go, go bald. bald! Why, that's terrible. Well, you obviously have no experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. What happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yoo-hoo! Oh, Winnie! Huh. She must have left. All the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you gotta know how to cut it. This buzzard's gonna get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait. I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit! Caught in the act! All this in the name of dirty wig money! <laughs> oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it! Go on, pretty boy! Shut up! and I finally match. Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Mother Nature! Ah, uh, I'm not here! Oh, yes, you are! You can't fool Mother Nature! <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. No! I am a woodpecker! You can't do this to me! Please, Mother Nature. I gotta be promoted back to woodpecker! Do a good job as a pigeon, and you will be eligible for a review in no time. All right, let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh Mother Nature told me to expect you, uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our uh, uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a, a, a constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get going!
Oh, I see. First day and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers or I'll see you never get a promotion back to uh, Woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues! I knew you were a slacker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Hey, but you ain't uh, how did you... Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. You're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, to Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora! Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. Where is that good-for-nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You. Uh, busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you Nimrod! This was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. He sure is heavy. <sighs> so long, Mac. Judy. You're up to something, Woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon. Apparently, we have some competition from these guys. You are swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> well, well, Woody. You've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you back to Woodpecker. Oh, joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, uh, well but, but I've already promoted him. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something. Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug. How about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. <sighs> this is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature! Why, what a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to pack. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Woo Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, woodpecker, I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave me like this. No. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
hey, Wally, buddy, neighbor, Hal. Hmm. If it isn't my neighbor, the moocher. Could you possibly spare a small bite? I'm short on groceries this week. Well, sure, chump. Uh, uh, Woody. I'll sample the burger to make sure it's cooked. By Yiminy. Ooh. How rude of me. Wally, buddy, how about that morsel of food? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. It must have slipped my mind. That'll fix you. Why don't you get a job and stop mooching off others? Hey, Wally, your barbecue smells kind of foul. Hello? The IRS? I'm being audited? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Oh, and if they see all my food, they'll think I'm rich for sure. I love a good game of hide and seek. Hello. Uh, can I help? I'm from the Internal Food Revenue Service. Internal Food Revenue Service? Step aside, tax evader. According to official records, you have never, ever filed a food return. By George, it must be a yoke. Does this look like you filed taxes? Ooh, a heavy tax here. Yumpin' yiminy. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'll be the judge of that. This warrant entitles me to search your premises. Failure to comply could mean jail time. Got it, bub? <coughs> Hmm. Very clever, Mr. Walrus. You've hidden the utensils, too. Quit holding out and produce the goods. I have nothing to hide. We'll see about that. Aha! Incriminating evidence. Looks like jail time to me. Uh, it belongs to, uh, the former owner of the house. The case against you is building, Mr. Walrus. Oh, uh, mm, that's my pet, uh, Little Orange. It's a half-eaten carrot, genius. That's it. I knew it! Hard Sicilian salami! But I've never even been to Sicily. Tell it to the judge. This evidence must be treated with the utmost care. It has to be kept in this protective coating and dealt with properly. <laughs> Mr. Walrus, what are you keeping behind this door? Hmm? Try and explain this. That's not an eating ham. That's a plumbing ham. 95% for the government. Uh, no, please. I was saving that for my retirement. Explain this. Ah, uh, shucks, Mr. Walrus. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, this will cost you dearly. You're going down. Solitary confinement. Oh, no. And that will leave you with... Prison food. No! Anything but that. I confess. I've got food hidden all over the house. Be merciful. That completes your audit, Mr. Walrus. <gasps> My food. Hmm? 
Right. IRS, Mr. Walrus, it has come to our attention that you are owing 37 years in back taxes. Huh? But I thought that... Uh, didn't I just... Wait! What are you doing? That leaves you with 1% of your body fat. Your account is fully paid up. Thank you for doing business with the IRS. Mmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Uh, hello, sport. Could you spare some food for a guy down on his luck? Sure, you're just in time. The delivery truck just came. Fresh logs with all the termites you can eat. Taste like chicken. Dig in. Meat, meat, everywhere meat and not a single vegetable to be found. I really must move to a more civilized climate. <laughs> oh, just so, old chap. What you need is a proper feast of veggies and tapioca pudding. <laughs> One ice rutabaga, some snowball Brussels sprouts, and some nice icicle carrots. Bravo! A positively brilliant meal. Satisfied now, old boy? Oh, no! We aren't hungry anymore, old boy. There can be no boiled ham if we are to be proper vegetarians. <laughs> Nor the hot dog. It, too, is a meat byproduct. I will have no more of your carnivorous charade shenanigans. Hmm. Perhaps a good snooze will get your mind back in order. The nice, warm smell of... Fire! No, it can't be, but it is... A succulent stuffed squab! <laughs> no! Oh dear, I really can't go back to my old ways. The life of a carnivore is so detestable. I will not touch the squab. All animal life is precious to me. However, one cannot completely deny one's weaknesses. I wouldn't... Hmm, not bad. Young, nice. Playful yet delicate. Tastes of cinnamon, blueberries, uh, and just a hint of, of. Ah, yes, smoked salmon, of course! <laughs> My finicky feasting must not be fouled by that frigid fowl! This is you. 
This is me. And being a civilized vegetarian, I nonetheless have all the natural urges of my forefathers. The most primal of all these urges is to consume meat products. And so, my dear Jeeves, you being just such a bully meat product yourself, should therefore vamoose. Understand? The dear boy undoubtedly took the hint. After all, you can't argue with logic. Sorry, lad, but I must take drastic measures. Where to, Mac? Oh, the lad would like to go to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Okay, Mac, load him up. And now, back to my nap. Jolly bad luck. Now look here, Jeeves. You, you can't just bully well go around behaving with such willy minded duckiness. <laughs> <laughs> This is the last straw. I am leaving now, and you will bully well stay here. Do you comprehend? <laughs> oh, what now, old boy? A tropical island? I say, we are due for a vacation, aren't we? And bananas are quite lovely this time of year. To the islands, then! Oh, don't tell me you've grown attached to the diminutive squab now, have you? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could take this little fellow along. You'd finally leave me alone if I took you someplace warm and cozy? <laughs> All right, then it's settled. We'll have a smashing good time. Oh, I'll make us all banana splits, banana pudding, ooh, banana pie, bananas flaming. Do you long for the good life? A treehouse on Easy Street. You need to learn how to make your species proud with the Phony Robin's personal triumph plan. You'll learn that self-esteem is all about appearances and communication. Hmm. This Just is perfect. Of you'll be able to see how I made an absolute fortune. Hold on one crumb picking minute there. Excuse me. You. Antenna head walking towards my kitchen. Hey! What's the big idea? <laughs> The big idea is you're out of milk. Welcome to the documentary channel. At hey! You can't just move into someone's place and freeload. Out! And stay out! <laughs> Newsflash! My house! My food! My chair! No! Please don't! I I I splatter easily. <laughs> I got nowhere else to go. I can't make it in the outside world. You don't know what it's like being the runt of the family. <laughs> Everyone else succeeding, and you're failing. <laughs> Please, just give me a chance, will you? My whole life's been an uphill battle. 
<laughs> but you, look at you. You're living the life here. Well, I didn't always have a treehouse on Easy Street, you know. I had to work hard for the good life. Please let me stay. I could learn from you. All right. But if you're gonna stay, you gotta straighten up and fly right. You've gotta hold up your end of the place. Gotta come up with the rent every month. And to do that, you gotta go out and make something of yourself. You've gotta be aggressive. Can't be slacking off or looking for the easy way out of situations. No siree, no more freeloading. Now get out there and make your subspecies proud. You got it, mister. I'm gonna make that change. I'm off like 30 pounds on a grapefruit diet. Look out, world. This is one upwardly mobile cockroach coming at ya. <sighs> Just thinking about all the work he's gonna do is wearing me out. <sighs> I did it! Chester the cockroach has got a job. I'm climbing that ladder of success. You got a job? You bet I did. And I made 50 bucks. Ah, well, uh, good work, Chester. Now you can pay me your part of the rent. But that only leaves me with two dollars. I must have added wrong. Why, you're right, Chester. Hey, now I only have one dollar. Well, then, it looks like you need to go get a better job, Chester. Go out there and work, 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 little buddy. Hello, Woody! I got a huge promotion! Everything you taught me is paying off! Good work, Chester. But, uh-oh, inflation, devaluation, taxation. Looks like your rent just went up a hundred bucks. Then there's your water and electric bill, TV privileges. Wait a minute! TV priv? Frequent user fee, occupancy payroll, and the unavoidable what's yours is mine pay now and then pay again later assessment commission. Thank you. Next! Well, how am I supposed to get ahead in life without money? Chester, have I taught you nothing? It's about appearances, networking, and communication. So get out there and make... My subspecies proud. <laughs> Check it out, Woody. I got a new car with brakes that could stop a bad day. Ah, time to pay your rent, Chester. You know, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of moving up in the world only to have to hand everything over to you. I've changed jobs more often than you've changed socks. You're a disgrace, and it's time to put the teacher to the test. You get a job, Woody. So get out there and work, work, work! Say, what are you up to now, Woodpecker? I'm gonna get a job. A job? <laughs> What's this world coming to? <laughs> what am I doing? If you can't beat them, move them. You know, little fella, you were right. I was? I got a job in real estate. And you watch me. Soon I'll be more upwardly mobile than the space program. You bet. But a bug with your success shouldn't have to live like this while I'm still pulling myself up by the tail feathers. No, sir. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. So, my first real estate deal is to get you set up in a house that's a home in the style to which your money is accustomed. Behold, elegance. And it comes furnished, too. But can I afford... It's not about affording. It's about investing. It's about planning for your future. It's about making things happen. It's about... Well, how much do you have? I've saved ten grand. Say, what are these walrus pictures? You know what? I'm gonna sell this place to you at cost. Sold! Gentlemen, the pride of his subspecies. You know, that little guy was right. I could be a dynamite salesperson. Work my way to the top. Nah. Cardboard is our friend. I get you now by yinny, you little cockroach. I get you out of my house. 